Farm Guy here, and this is Metals and Gem Production by Superfly1842 on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on a PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map for this test and demonstration of this gemorific, this cat's meow, this, uh, this really cool and, um, and uh, innovative... Uh, production pack really it's packed full of great stuff and we will be going through it uh, step by step to show you every detail hopefully I don't miss anything I want to do I want to give a big shout out to the modder Superfly 1842 and we have been communicating these last few days um, and if you've been following some of my posts um, he has uh, kind of let me know the progress and we're excited to uh, to showcase this in in the usual mod testing fashion and so far um it's it's pretty good um it's really cool so as you can see i have a variety of um uh, items here that um that we have we have uh, uh, to explain the process just a little bit before we get into the details um, you start with stones or rocks that you can either buy from the supplied by buying silo or uh, you can buy it from other silos there's lots of ways or you can uh, harvest them in your fields stones are there there's also a map i can't remember the name of the map but i know there is a map that has a rock basically a rock quarry with like millions and millions of liters of rock you can just pick up and use that so that might be a really cool one to check out so from the stone um there's also a stone quarry on this yeah we'll talk about the the details in a minute there's uh then you get pay dirt from up you you put it through a process you get paved dirt and through another process you uh you get gems and uh you, uh, you get gems and then you refine gold and silver and then you take that gold and silver oh you also get diamonds yes diamonds they're a girl's best friend apparently and uh, then you can produce the final, some final products, a golden cat statue. Very shiny. Meow. Uh, silverware and jewelry. So those are the items. <clears throat> and there's a lot in this pack. So where do we start? Let's get our help windows on. And let's start at the beginning, shall we? And the beginning is, um, let's start with the productions. And there's a few added as we go through each production, um, there is additional equipment that come with this, a tanker, some front loaders, and so forth and so on. But let's start with the quarry. Now, <clears throat> now, you need stones. Stones are the first thing you start with. That's the beginning of the process. And the quarry is going to found in found in production of factories. And uh, there it is, stone quarry. Uh, it is, uh, as you can see here, one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars to purchase. So it's kind of expensive to 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 purchase right off the bat. So it may not be the best way for you to go if you're just starting out. Um, so if you are on a map that has lots of rocks, or if you are uh, if you are basically harvesting a bunch of rocks from your fields and you don't want to go this route, you don't have to. But it's here and it's available. This is 31 slots on console. So some of these buildings are kind of high on the slot count. I will let you know of the slot count of each, each item in each one. But anyways, you place this down. And there are a few interesting things you need to know that might be hard to find. First of all... Each building has these little switches, and these little switches might be a little hard to find at first, but I will show you each location. They're marked by a little hazard thing, and this one... So the first one is lights. So it has lights for nighttime operation. It's hard to see now, but there's the light switch for the exterior lights. Now this one's a little bit interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. This factory is a little different. This production is a little different than some others, and it's a little curious to me. Um, but we'll go through it, and I'll show you how it works, and then why I think 
it's set up it don't yeah right so the other switch here is the icon switch so you can have them turn you can turn them off there's a switch for that if you don't like the icons you don't have, don't have to go into your settings or anything you can actually go over here and turn them on now when you place down one of the, you place down a factory some of the icons will be on some of them aren't um, so just so you know that but if you don't like them if you don't want them on turn turn them off right so um, this is the only one that I couldn't find a a little wrench a production um, wrench too oddly enough um, so right now it's empty and it's empty because um, well let's take a look at the productions quarry zero stones in 500 stones out let's turn that on what does that mean uh, well it means it's uh, it generates stones and and with that recipe uh, the production cost is four thousand dollars per month so there is a cost to it so what we're going to do now i just turned it as you can see i just turned it on if we get up here the field there we go the the information bottom right corner you turn your field information on you can see there and it sees you can see there it's starting to uh run now like any other production you can set it to storing selling or distributing right now we're going to set the storing because i want to know how much it generates in a month now realize it's 10 45 in the morning here so when i sleep i can only sleep till nine so it's going to give a this one it's going to it's going to give us somewhat of a less monthly production the first time i hit it i've been about not spending about an hour and a half <laughs> testing uh testing out all this stuff so anyways having said that we can see now she's generating stones so let's run it and then we'll come up here and we will show you uh what i think um well it's kind of a silo plus a uh, stone generate stone so uh, well anyways let's uh let's go to sleep and we'll be right back we are back and what has transpired i think it looks like does that yeah so 111,000 looks like um a couple more hours here and it might be full so that's pretty cool that's quite a lot of stone in one month so we're looking at a fairly high production type uh yeah i thought so look at that cool neat little feature let's go up here is this uh, there's stones in here oh yeah look at that that fills up you can you can walk all over all over here and uh this oh i'm okay that's not good <laughs> uh that fills up with stones let's go back with <laughs> that container that uh that fills up with stones uh also notice those fans up there let's turn it back on fans start turning when you turn the production on okay so uh where is my truck with uh rocks okay there we go or my tractor now um let's um it it might uh, it might get a little laggy around some of these i noticed a little bit i have a few of them there i tried to space them out so just um beware if you're on ps4 or xbox uh the old xbox you might want to spread them out a little bit more than what i have just to avoid crashing issues so um you can input stones but you don't have to input stones because it generates stones however if you want to use it as a silo and as a distribution center i can see why you would have an input because say you're making it produce you're producing stones here you also have another source of stones and you want to um add to that so now we have um 134,000. looks like 150,000 is the capacity i'm sure it's noted in the description um <laughs> yes it's noted all that stuff is in the description which i which i'm uh i 
I couldn't remember. 150,000 liter capacity of stones. Now, um, let's talk about a couple of things. Well, at least one item that's included with this because these buckets, these buckets are also included with this mod. Now, uh, let's just go down to the metals and gem production mods and DLCs. And the reason we have this in here because it does also come with a few pieces of equipment. And we have a telehandler bucket, front loader bucket, and a wheel loader bucket. These can all be found in here. Tools and front loader tools. And there we are. This is the, uh, um, I say odd one out of the bunch. Um, for one reason, I will I will tell you which that is in a moment. A thousand liters, which is a standard bucket size, uh, up to six thousand liters of everything, even uh, bulk materials and so forth. Uh, but there's no color option for this one, oddly enough. Maybe that was kind of missed somehow or omitted. And I'll tell you why I think that in a moment. But we have standard, which is a thousand. We have unreal capacity two at two thousand. 4,000 and 6,000 liters, which I have here. And so, um, why I think, um, well, let's just, um, let's just put some in the top there so you can add I do believe just dump it in let's see there we go there so yes so if you want to role play a little bit and add some stone into the top I do believe that has added yes that has added stones so um, there you go that's pretty cool so those uh, okay let's wait a minute uh, we also have the teller handler one and uh, yes okay I'm, I'm starting to miss things uh, teller handler tools there it is four thousand dollars and this one's twenty six hundred and forty to ten thousand liter capacity and again we have the twenty six forty five thousand seventy five and ten thousand but we have a color option on this one uh, we have a shiny black which is which is um standard and then we have all the giants colors for 150 bucks so you can customize that there and then also a wheel loader bucket that one is the largest of course for wheel loaders 3500 7000 10005 and 21000 liters and we have also color options with that one 14 grand for the unreal 4 <coughs> And um, we will show you later, but uh, I really wanted to do this, was uh, get a bucket load of a bucket load of gems. Yes, de oh, that looks really cool. Um, right. So, um... But anyways, that's the quarry. So step one, you need stones so you can either get it uh, by the quarry or let's talk about stones still. Containers, stone buying station. I have one set up here, $15,000 to purchase. Uh, the stone buying station is three slots on console. Oh, the buckets are one and two slots each. Almost forgot. Right, stone buying station. Let's uh, hop into our vehicle here. And it only buys, or you only buy stone from it, but it is at an increased price. Now, for comparison's sake, we'll put 10,000 liters. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, oh, oh. Well, okay, let's say 20 then. I pressed the wrong button. So, a thou about $1,000 per thousand or 10,000 liters. So hundred dollars per thousand liters, roughly. Right? So uh, if we get rid of these, 
All right, we can just we can just buy. We'll go up to forty thousand, and we'll see the price at the uh, A2 Studio. And you can see the actually we can. I think I keep forgetting that we can. We can check prices here. <clears throat> um, so yeah, stone buying station one hundred dollars per thousand liters, as opposed to the easy way station at thirty four dollars per thousand liters and thirty seven dollars per thousand liters at the multi fruit buying station. So easy way to look at if you want to know what buying or per purchase price is. Yeah, I keep forgetting you can do that. Right. So um yeah uh if you want to buy stones there is a stone buying station there of course like i just said there's other options now moving on finally the next step in the process is this now this is productions and factories and this what is this this is the stone wash plant the stone wash plant is 10 slots on console so quite a bit less um um slots in the uh, the counting yeah but the slots category now when you first place this down like so let's run over there um it might be a little bit um confusing so pay attention I will show how to unconfuse it. So, all right. When you first come to it, the first thing you probably should do or you would need to do is come up to here, to this corner here. See where I'm going? So it's in between the tank and the loading areas here. And go to turn uh, turn on icons and then all your icons will light up otherwise if you turn them off the, these two would be on but no no other icons are on so it's like you could be wandering around wondering where to put stuff in so there we go icons now we know where all the stuff should go we also have a light switch off or on for nighttime viewing right so what goes into this one that's the pay dirt the stone wash plant you get pay dirt how do you get pay dirt stones and water 90 and 20 in 90 of pay dirt out uh, you need pay dirt to get the gold silver and gems which we'll talk about next but stones in 400,000 liters water is 92,160 liters that may seem like an odd number and that brings us to our next uh, included mod is this tank um, so <clears throat> uh, let's go up here uh, no here let's go in here well, I'll show you where the tank is the tank I do believe was under trailers and it is a modified it's the modified uh, base game trailer Forty-four thousand dollars, four hundred and sixty thousand and eighty liter capacity. Now, this tanker was designed by the modder to, um, well, let's say, uh, work with the factories um, that he has designed. This tank color. We have a bunch of wonderful colors. Thousand dollars for the tank color. Rim color. Five hundred dollars. Right. So, pretty normal uh, looking tank. Uh, although the uh, it the added capacity is diesel fuel now this tank uh, can be used for water we'll go fill up um, well actually we're gonna have to run the factory but um, if you use this tank that's supplied and I'll go fill it up later but anyways I just wanted to show you that before we went into the yeah it's a, a little scatterbrain but hopefully you can follow me here okay so pay dirt goes in here and water goes in here we're going to show that after we, we're going to run it and we're going to turn it on right now turn come on let's go in here uh, you can get to it here or here now we're going to turn it on 
and it's at 2400 cycles per month at 90 per cycle now you can see it's already starting to work Produ production cost is eighteen hundred dollars per month right so you need to uh, you need pay dirt in order to continue the process again if you want you can set it to distribute and it will automatically send it on to the next processing plant but for the purpose of this test we're having it stored because we want to see how much it makes in a month and I will show you well this is the uh, this is the output here and look at it it's, it's running pretty quickly look at that we got uh, 110 11 12 yeah it's ticking along so now again we're going to go to sleep come back in a month and see what we get all right one month has gone by what have we got well we got um, 214,120 liters of pay dirt and uh, you can see our capacities have went down by half and that's significant because uh, our water is at half way and why is that significant well if we come over here and hop into our tank <clears throat> And you see that our tank capacity is 4680 and that is nearly uh, exactly half or it is actually I would say half uh, as we'll fill it up and we should be we we might be just short of filling it up completely so water goes in here as you can see by the little water icon and if you don't turn on the icons um, it would be a uh, it took me a while to find that before I realized I had to turn on the icon. Unloading speed is fantastic. Look at that. It is unloading really fast. And uh, I really like how that is. And as you can see here, it's just a touch under absolutely full right now. So that is uh, why this tanker, uh, this tank was designed to um, basically be just big enough to fill uh, every month to come in here and top it up basically uh, or to fill it halfway now pay dirt out now stones you can also manually put in the stones here um, that is also uh, you know what we'll show that how about how about we show that because we're here and we can and we're gonna load stones from our quarry which are which is now full so here we go, loading stones from the quarry. <clears throat> Load speed's actually pretty good. I can see, you can see this is 200,000 liter capacity uh, trailer, so it is filling up really quickly. And here we go, we're gonna dump in our stones. There we go, dumping in our stones, come on to be washed and we'll get pay dirt from it right and as we zip around we can now so we can take the stones out if you want which is another absolutely pet peeve of mine with factories you can't remove stuff so at least with this factory uh, you can take the stones out if you want put too many stones in there you can take them out if you want it's all there it's all good so there we go uh, again a great fill speed so kudos to um, mr. superfly um, he's checking all the boxes for me this is really fantastic okay so where do we take the pay dirt pay dirt we are on our way to our next factory or production now this one's a little different than the last two we looked at because you can go inside it has a building and uh, this door opens and closes very nice now uh, where's the yes okay so on this building the first thing you need to do is come up to this front door area here and turn on your icons so if they're off everything goes off you turn them on there we go so diesel and water in here also um, I'm pretty sure the pay dirt goes in there that's where pretty sure where I put it anyways uh, before we go to that uh, inside is a little area here where we're gonna be getting our pallets of gold and silver and um, yes gold 
Gold, silver, and gems. Gold, silver, and gems. Wait a minute. Gems are bulk. Gems will come out of here. Gold and silver are on pallets. Here is another managed production point, right? So the production, managed production point inside. Uh, these doors open and close. Very nice. Roll up doors. Now I haven't I haven't run this one yet. <clears throat> There's a I mean I have I have ways of making gems otherwise, but um, right. So let's let's like just turn it on. We're gonna turn them all on for the sake of um, just speedy uh, speediness here. So um, the production values. So take a look at the recipes. Gold. Now it doesn't just make gold. It makes gold and then a little bit of silver, diamonds, and gems. If you pick the silver recipe, it's mostly silver and the and then gold, diamonds, and gems. And then if you pick the gems, it'll be mostly gems, silver, and then gold, and then diamonds. So each recipe is a little different. The gold takes the, the most pay dirt, uh, 15, 240, 125. And then we have 625, 120, and 60. And then gems is 350, 120, and 30. So the... Um, Yeah, so you can decide what you really want to do. I mean, all of these things you can sell separately and then, but there is one more production left. So let's, um, yeah, it's full. Pay dirt, 120,000 liters, water, uh, 46, again, 4680, I think. And the diesel is 24. So again, um, designed specifically for the tanker that comes with this 46 out so you have one tank will give you one full capacity of water and a tank of diesel will give you two fills of diesel for this production so we have turned them all on we can turn the pay dirt off so we turn them all on we're going to see what happens then and we're going to check out the uh, pallets of gold and silver all right, so a month has gone ahead, and I did not show this yet. Uh, oh, that door doesn't open. I thought I could go. Okay, nope. Uh, you can see in there, but that one, that door doesn't open. You probably about the only door that doesn't open on this. Right, but so let's go here and look what we got here. We have silver and gold. Oh, that's a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit odd. Uh, very heavy. Ton, one ton. One ton, uh, 1.4 tons. Kind of neat though. Uh, we have like uh, movable little balls or bib. Sorry, um, balls. Um, yeah, bricks. Oh, I. Yeah, gold bullion. Um, you can play around with a little bit, but anyways, uh, yeah, wow. Um, here you go. That's what did we end up with? Uh, lots of gems. Uh, we've ran out of pay dirt now. If we would have set this to distribute and had that turned on, uh, we wouldn't have run out of pay dirt with our gold, silver, and gem production. Just um, just so you know, but we have. Uh, production is quite good and uh, especially considering um, what the sell prices for these are which we will get into in a minute but there we go so it has filled almost filled this area plus there's some in storage so yes very good production there all right um, so we've filled with water again so let's go ahead and put the water in And uh, why are, oh, did I turn off the icons? There we go. Icons are back on. And there we go. And the uh, trigger, it comes up very generously. So you shouldn't have any trouble putting water or any product in these. If you are, I would look at um, your trailer. What kind of trailer are you using? Also, if you put down a factory and you use, or anything for that matter that has a trigger, 
So let's uh, go into productions and just a factory and you use toggle free mode pressing the triangle toggle free mode which means you can place it anywhere like even on top of another building um, if you use toggle free mode you might um, bury the trigger area or something that is another common problem why sometimes it's like I can't I can't fill it with uh, whatever I can't fill it with the uh, blah 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 well there's a couple of things you might have done when placing it down that um, obstructed the um, the filling area so pay dirt going in there we go pay dirt goes in again like I said you can have it just directed distributed directly from the previous uh, production but there we go and now the fun part we have gold and silver silver in pallets and uh, actually what I want to know is uh, Yes, yes, you can take the pay dirt. I don't know why you'd want to take the pay dirt out, but you can, and that's what's important. And there we go. Beautiful, beautiful bulk gems. I don't think I'd ever see bulk gems on Farming Simulator, but there we go. We got uh, 9,821 liters of bulk gems, and uh, so now we're off to our next and final production if you choose now you can sell these and there's uh we'll show you the sell point but if you want to continue to um continue in the processing um in the in the processing of these items we'll come along to this and this is our final production that we're going to talk about today in this video and this is going to be the met uh, the jewelry production and there it is oh uh slot count for the metal refinery 42 slots i forgot to mention yeah 42 slots for this puppy over here um jewelry production is 40 slots on console so a couple of so the big ones are the stone quarry metal refinery and the jewelry production those are the big slot items the rest the rest is uh, pretty much you know inconsequential 10 slots five slots two slots yeah uh, nothing really to worry about uh, these are the three big ones so there you have it seventy thousand dollars silver uh jewels and gold in and then of course the famous golden cat silverware and um what's the other one um jewelry golden cat statue and silverware so input uh input amounts or maximum input amounts gold is eight thousand liters silver twelve thousand and gems are twelve thousand so again we're going to turn them all on and we're going to let it run without distributing any of these so again you can set these to distribute and they will automatically send them to your jewelry production but we're not going to do that because we want to see what uh, what happens. Again, the fans turn on, I believe, after you uh, turn on the production. Here are the turn off lights, turn on and off lights. Even the little switch moves. There, there's the icon. So we turned off the icons. That's what it looks like. We'll turn on the icons. We're going to go inside for a little quick look. See, there we go. Icons have been turned on. So input is right here. So you wouldn't know it if you didn't have the icons on and output is only on pallets so we only have pallets output we can these doors open and close we have lights inside very nice and we have what looks to be a farming simulator on the computer someone's uh, passing the time away maybe lunchtime here's the production point managed production point right inside here so that's kind of cool we also oh i didn't go upstairs yet what's upstairs conference oh oh <laughs> uh, a giant golden cat statue well isn't that meow <laughs> i love it uh, a little storage area lights there we go and uh kind of like it just a little inch it's not a very very um here we have the um 
a work area lights of course so we have oh we have a, a some gems just a gems open in a in a big crate let's take some gems if you want we have some uh, gold bullion here there we go we have some uh, boxes of jewelry that they've uh, we have a lockup cage with nothing in it we just got some you know we just got gems just lying around in bulk bulk containers gold bullion just kind of lying around uh, no security <laughs> and there we go kind of like the back area here where the uh the shipping and shipping and area but anyways uh so we're gonna run that and then we're gonna show stuff going in and we're gonna see the uh the pallets coming out all right so month has gone by what have we got well we have run out of silver So it still says um, we could still make cat stat statues because it only uses gold and gems. So that's cool. Um, right. So now you know. Um, yeah. Of course, we've we've stuffed them all. I used to kind of separate and see how much of each. But this kind of gives you a good idea, at least, of uh, production. So you don't have to turn them all on if you just want to make cat statues. So... Uh, jewelry 7100 37 and 67 so looks like jewelry well let's see what we got yeah jewelry looks like to be the higher of the of all the production to yeah that's quite obvious jewelry 200 per cycle at 72 even the the silver wears uh, 96 cycles at 100 each 100 in 100 out that's good 75 yeah everything's equal 50 50 100 200 so we're not losing any product no products going to someone's pocket and out the back door or you know other places um cool so obviously um none of these you can lift by hand we got lots of jewelry we have a cat statue and i believe that bottom one down there is um silverware so now what do you do with this stuff well you sell it <laughs> so production and selling points and if i if i am not incorrect i believe this is our last item um in this mod and there it is five hundred dollars it is uh two slots on console it's not it's it's got a little different design i kind of like it i i did notice the edges are a little bit um it's got a bit of an edge to it <laughs> uh it's got a bit of a ridge around there so if you're trying to slide stuff onto it it's not going to uh not going to work too good but there we go we got some jewels uh, so let's take a look at our sell pricing now. That's where we're at. So gold, gold, and we have the uh, jewelry production selling. Uh, let's there we go. Precious metals and gem trader. That is the sell point. That's what it's called. So there it is. So if we take a look at that, we're pretty now jewelry production you can sell it directly if you want if you don't want to mess around with the pallets um but it's pretty close to the sell everything that is my standard by schultz modding uh silver we're looking at oh what about um fluctuations in price well there's quite a bit um i'm on easy economy so just so you know uh looks like december is your best price november december um and then if we bump down to silver silver prices of course a lot less valuable than gold again pretty much the same diamonds uh you cannot you don't use diamonds for anything you sell the diamonds and as you can see here they are valuable uh also the price fluctuation isn't all that much from seasonal so you're about three thousand dollars fluctuation roughly uh jewelry is 
yeah about a thousand dollars in fluctuating pricing um four grand for that the golden cat statue eight grand it only oh uh, yeah so precious gem trader sell everything oh you can't sell it directly from the, the production uh selling yeah um okay i'm that's odd that it's not showing up there silverware gems yeah uh you can even sell the pay dirt if you want it's not worth much but you can um right so prices i mean you, you're not gonna you're not gonna lose money uh doing this and it's actually a really it's a really um a really cool way to uh, use make use of the stones or the rocks that are already in game so that's really cool and as I said the, I know of at least one map that has a stone quarry with like millions of liters of stone you can just scoop up and use cat statues let's sell them there they go what do we get for a pallet of cat statues? $88,000. That's not bad, actually. Right, so silverware. 2,000 liters of silverware. There we go. It's all like, it's like a yeah a set a silverware set sets of silverware and we get 4300 uh so that's curious um silver $8,300 per thousand liters silverware 2100 so more than double for turning it into silverware in case you were wondering now the one last thing um i did I did um, procure a bunch of uh, pallets. I believe these are diamonds, yes. Uh, no, diamonds, yes. So, what is a pallet of diamonds worth? A lot, I would think. Uh, probably not, because it says 47 per thousand, but there's only 500. 500 liters which is still a lot 500 liters of diamonds actually i think it's kind of underpriced unless these are like like industrial diamonds probably that's why uh so twenty three thousand dollars for a pallet of diamonds and i think that um i think that's got it all um hopefully i didn't miss anything I think I covered it all. Uh, here again, we have the process of rocks to pay dirt, uh, to gems, and gold and silver and diamonds. So that's the refining, basically, process. And you can take the gems and gold and silver and turn them into either cat statues, silverware, or jewelry. And you sell the diamonds directly. There, You don't put them in anything. Um, that is the end product. Um, and there you go. So, uh, as much as there's a lot with this, it's very well thought out and simply, like, it's it's not, um, it's really a very, uh, uh, how should I say, I'm trying to look for the word, um, the, the process is very, like, you don't have to think too hard about it. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm trying to think right now um, but anyways you know what I mean it's 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 a very easy to follow process from stones to dirt to processing refining and then turning it into jewelry and then selling it and this is this is really cool I that's having bulk gems I think that's and the cat well of course the cat statues I want one actually I really do uh, now, if only there is a dog, a golden dog statue of uh, farm dog Max, then... Um... <laughs> but anyways, there you go. That's it. Hopefully, um, it's helped you out if you're having issues. I did not find 
any problems with this uh just some really minor th i don't know i don't even this the, the odd minor yeah not even really i don't even remember which one it was um metals and gem production by superfly 1842 uh, keep an eye out he's got many more uh mods in the works so keep an eye out for this modder i think he's going to be doing quite well with this one this is great um it's all on farming simulator 22 um, thank you all for watching, and uh, remember, it's only a game, so till the next one, bye for now.